Hello, it's Not Bad Cat here on November 4th, 2022 with your weekly RimWorld mod updates and uploads. With the release of 1.4 and the Biotech DLC, I knew that these videos were needed more than ever. It gave me the resolve to get over my guilt and return. So if you're new to the channel, hello. Updates and uploads is your weekly video about the newest RimWorld mods on the workshop and updates of your favorites. This is a combination of October 28th and November 4th list of mods, so enjoy an extra long video. Let's take a look at this week's mods. So mods need to be updated to 1.4. If your favorite mod hasn't updated yet, be patient. They know. And depending on the mod, it might be a lot of work, which is why it's very impressive that the vanilla expanded team was able to update as many mods as they have. Almost every mod has been updated, for 1.4, the team has combined almost all of the animals into one mod, Vanilla Animals Expanded. The exceptions are Caves, Royalty, and Endangered Animals. They're separate. In the settings, disable any animals you don't like, like too many cats or dogs. Vanilla Helixian Gas Expanded takes everything Helixian Gas into one mod. It's no longer in Furniture Expanded Power. As for mods we're still waiting in, that's Backstories Expanded, and sadly, UI Expanded, which requires a total rewrite. With 80 plus mods in the Vanilla Expanded collection, go give your thanks and support to Oscar and the team for updating as quick as they have. Another prolific modder regularly featured on this channel, adopter and maintainer of Mods Abandoned, and creator of many helpful mods, Leah has over 700 mods, of which 596 have been updated to 1.4 as of writing. Again, go give your thanks and support to Malia. Combat Extended hasn't been updated to 1.4 yet, but if you join their Discord, they do have a beta test available. Go ahead and help them out by tracking down any bugs and issues. If you're a returning viewer, you might notice some changes with this video. I want to cover more mods. That means dedicating less time to each and making editing this video a little bit less of a time sink. I'm still going to miss some mods, especially updates. There's no easy way to track that. So I encourage you to read the comments. I'm still compiling a massive list of mods updated and created in October. Here's some of them. All Idea Legends Are Fluid by Super Nikui 10 allows you to perform any Idea Legend, both yours and other factions. You don't even have to choose Fluid in the Ideology menu at the beginning. You can go ahead and pick Fixed and start with an Idea Legend with four memes, and then reform it as you please. Rimworld Faction Icons by Duncan E. redesigns the icons for each of the vanilla factions, including the newest Biotech additions. Now, each faction looks more unique and adds some nice detail. Math by Crunchy Duck lets you use variables. Want enough meals for your colonists for three days but no more? Especially with Rot Stink now? Your bill becomes call times three. It will update whether you gain or lose colonists, all without you needing to micromanage it at all. There's a list of variables including colonists, pawns, which includes prisoners, slaves, and colonists, mechanators, animals, babies, and lots more. This is a great successor of better workbench management. Research Powell by Owl Chemist is a 1.4 update for Research Pal Fort and it's also a fork of this fork. Alchemist plans on including more changes, but right now, the code has been optimized so it generates about 20% faster. Pretty nice if you go a bit mad with mods that add a ton of tech. Trading Options by Hosea Solar allows you to configure how often caravans, visitors, and orbital traders show up at your colony. Also including settlements, you can customize how much silver and the amount of stock any trader has. Slave traders could appear no matter your colony population, and traders can be set to have more items in stock if your colony is wealthy. You can configure each trader separately, give visitors more silver and orbital traders a ton more stock. Jose Solar also has the mod Trader Gen if you want more variety of traders. Trait and Backstory Icons by Super Niki 10 adds icons to traits and backstories in a pawn's bio tab. It includes icons for vanilla, Biotech, Vanilla Trace Expanded, and other VE mods, SYR Individuality, KV Consolidated Traits, DN Bundle of Traits, RPG Traits Plus, and more. Yayo's Animation Continued by Soki is the official update since Yayo is no longer modding. If you already have Yayo's Animation, 
subscribe to this one instead. Soki has adopted the mod and has a few changes. New animations, support for vanilla expanded mods, and several of Dub's mods like Bad Hygiene, Rimafeller, Rimatomics, and Paint Shop. Speaking of modders no longer modding, some of your 1.3 mods might not be updated if the modder isn't interested. You might be able to find 1.4 updates by other individuals. It's pretty common during these times. Some are temporary, only existing until the original modder is able to update their mod. But sometimes mods get adopted and we all benefit. Not My Fault by Krimpus Perinium is a welcome mod. One user in my Discord was looking for a mod to stop the relationship penalty because stupid visitors in caravans always spawn next to the mechanoid swarm or a horde of 100 manhunting Yorkshire Terriers. I wasn't able to find a mod like that, so this is very welcome. It removes that negative 5 penalty from visitors dying on your map. You'll still be punished though for intentionally harming visitors. So. Removing the penalty does open up some ways you can cheese the mod, kind of like with Trader Spot. So it's on your honor to not treat caravans like convenient solutions. Floor Drawings by TLs adds 15 new ways for your children to deface your floors. We have some known ones like Kilroy was here, that S symbol you drew all over your notebooks in elementary school, and what appears to be hopscotch. There's even a way to add your own images if you would like some more. Rimfridge Updated by Augur is a new version of the mod. The original modder, Kiyama Vivacity, has a busy life, so they have linked people to Augurs for 1.4. If you have the old version, unsubscribe from it. In 1.3, Fridge is only allowed one stack, and the same holds true for 1.4. The triple stacks makes items stick out of the fridge, and that just doesn't look right. T More Floors 1.4 by Lonely Rain is another mod that has a new owner. Telkir's version won't be updating, so if you have that version, unsubscribe and pick up Lonely Rains. With 1.4's carpet system, most floors have been converted and are now paintable. They'll also be in the Floors tab this time, not more floors as previously. Child Sized Armor by Nepenthe adds the following child sized apparel plate armor, flak vest, power helmet, and power armor. They have the same stats as the adult size version, but take less materials. So if you do decide to allow them as soldiers, at least they're better protected. Tribal Crib by Nagellan adds cribs that don't require research and also don't require cloth. The fur blanket is paintable as well. Sometimes it's kind of silly how RimWorld makes some furniture be part of complex furniture, but doesn't provide a logical tribal equivalent. Planning Extended by Sherub is like an upgraded version of more planning. It's an early version, so expect to see it update often with new features. You have different planning shapes for walls, doors, objects, and floors. There's also the ability to cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, and show or hide your plans. So now you can spend even more time playing RimWorld, but not really playing RimWorld. And there's so many more on my list, but that does wrap up the mod updates and uploads for October 28th and November 4th, 2022. Did you miss your weekly updates and uploads video? What mods did I miss? Let me know in the comments. Of course, subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. And this time, we're gonna have updates and uploads on Fridays, so you're ready to spend the first hours of your weekend making a whole new mod list. You're welcome. This is Not Bad Cat, signing out.